25 volt so 12 volt section 12 volt section is giving 25 volt 5 volt section is giving 10 volt 3.3 volt section is giving 6.8 volt assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh welcome to hasib electronics friends in this video we will check the function of this PWM controller this is SDC 2921 in my last video I uh, removed the sense circuit the feedback circuit proceeding to pin number 1 2 3 and I made simulation using these three resistors if you did not watch that video before watching this video you must check this bypass and then today we will go in detail so this video is bound with with that video I will share the link the purpose of this video is to adjust the voltage as we require this study will help you to understand the function of this controller 12 volt and 5 volt so I will connect yellow wire at 12 in the last session I removed the power on command and I connected a local ground I connected I made a jumper from this wire to this wire I disconnected in my last video I disconnected this track this minus 12 volt sense line this plus 5 sense line I removed it 12 volt sense line I removed 3.3 volt I removed so we turned on this power supply without these sense lines how here I removed the resistors which are connected to pin number 1 2 3 pin number 3 that is 12 volt and 12 volt are applied through a voltage divider network so I bypassed everything and I connected this uh, set of resistors these three resistors are voltage divider network they simulate either the power supply is working or not if power supply even if power supply is not working the PWM controller will switch even we have problem in anywhere you can troubleshoot using this test jig I will connect one channel here the both channels I connected here in first step we will note down the inputs and outputs of this IC and then we will make a simulation we will make a stimuli in our last study I discussed what we take here and how did we removed I installed this set of components 5 volts SB I removed every power supply from here from the output end and I connected my own reference 5 volt 4 volt to pin number 3 and 3.3 volt to pin number 1 DC volt connected to ground okay now I will check the pin number 1 so here I take 3.2 volt I will write it here 3.26 pin number 2 that is 5.18 pin number 3 4 volts pin number 3 that is 4 volt this source this our local source I connected to 5 volt SD using these three resistors now we will check pin number four pin number four that is protection here is OVPP oh sorry OPP overvolt protection and here is a standard reference we apply to inverting input at number 15 what we receive from the power supply we take here at pin number 16 and if these two signals are same pin number 15 and 16 pin number 16 is 2.4 volt if these pins are within limit the IC will keep working 
here we have 2.4 volt 2.4 volt 2.4 2.4 when the both voltage pin number 15 and 16 pin number 15 and 16 are in equal voltage the IC will keep working anytime if any power supply is shorted pin number 16 will drop when pin number 16 will drop we can see when this voltage this pin will go low the IC see the oscilloscope if I will make just only jumper to this resistor we can see we can see the level of pulse width modulation now we can see more clearly if we will change this resistor we can increase the current we can see I am taking 12.39 volts and if any time I will change this reference our power supply will reach 24 volts and this time it is switching at full 12 volt reference 5 volt reference at pin number 16 so here if I connect now it will more clear I am taking 2.4 volt reference at 2.4 volt it is switching at this level okay at that time I am taking 2.4 volt it is stand alone reference and if I will increase the voltage level pin number 15 is stable pin number 15 pin number 15 is stable pin number 15 2.4 volt this is fixed voltage and pin number 16 is varying voltage if we remove this pin from here and if we connect our own reference at this point let's see what happened I have this 5 kilo ohm potentiometer set multimeter to ohm and it is 5k 5k so 5k I will connect three wires it is our time to remove the components from pin number 16 so pin number 16 is here I have pin number 16 here last one pin have many components from here and I will disconnect it so uh, from here I disconnected pin number 16 we disconnected here and it is not reaching here the center pin of potentiometer we will connect to pin number 16 red wire the center center wire we will connect to pin number 16 so pin number 16 and we have now we have two wires connect one wire to ground and the other wire to 5 volt SB 5 volt SB the purple wire when you will make modification you will find a change in current the current will decrease but not too much now how I made these connections I connected the center center wire center output terminals after import to the pin number 16 pin number 16 is connected here one pin is connected to ground one pin the brown wire connected to ground and one pin we connected to 5 volt SB standby power coming out from this transformer the output of standby transformer now let's start take care you have to uh, disconnect pin number 16 very carefully what we can find I will connect multimeter and we will see the output of this transformer this ATX power supply you can check 10 volt slightly increase because this potentiometer is 5k 
if we connect one resistor here one is I will connect now it is just to show you I am increasing 25 volt so 12 volt section the 12 volt section let me show you the 12 volt section now taking getting 12 volt section is giving 25 volt 5 volt section is giving 10 volt 3.3 volt section is giving 6.8 volt so we doubled the power this time you are taking double voltage from 10 volt from 10 volt to above you can adjust this now we have to change this capacitor this capacitor this capacitor and this capacitor put the double value if here it is here it is 16 volt connect here 35 volt this capacitor 25 volt uh, this capacitor 16 volt connect here 35 volt 16 volt 35 volt change all these capacitors and measure the value of these resistors and make and make them double make them double these three resistors you must change one two three four change the four capacitors I am taking now 24 volt instead of 12 volt and this time SMPS is switching at full pulse width modulation so this time you can take maximum current maximum voltage from this SMPS so this is just only controlling to pin number 16 now we have other options we will discuss in our forthcoming video so keep watching if you have any question let me know in the comment box I will appreciate your presence. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.